Hello and welcome back to Ice and Fire Season 2, Episode 2. We are here in the pyramid base home thing. I don't know what to call it. Should we give this place a name? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. But anyways, welcome to Episode 2. And today we have some stuff to do. Um, firstly, let me show you what I've done. Uh, I have smelted all the ores here. And here you can see all the ores. We have copper, zinc, lead, aluminum, tin... More aluminum, copper, gold, iron, and bronze. And these two gold nuggets came from two mobs that I killed outside. Uh, hopefully I'll get to show them to you today. But um, yeah, the, the, they were some mean uh, hunter guys. I, I don't know what they I, I don't know what they are. Um, anyways, I did also clear this area out down here. Removed the chests and I made this area a little bit, just a little bit roomier. Now I'm currently wondering what I'm going to put down here. I can either turn this into a small industrial area because we do have uh, immersive engineering, for example, and I would love to do some stuff with that. Um, and I think it would really fit down here. Let me know what you think about that uh, down below. Could also maybe put a mine here. I don't know, something along those lines. I think that the industrial area would really fit down there as well. It's like under the ground, tucked out of the way, and yeah. Also, I think we may do some renovation today in here. It's a little bit cramped. I would like these pillars gone, actually. Um, but yeah, I have done some more inventory organization. And yeah, that is one thing that I want done today as well, is get a bunch of dirt back. Um, because we are going out exploring a tiny bit I guess you could say um, because we will be exploring the village that we found in the last episode maybe we can even find some dragon bones on the way we will have to see or in, at least in the nearby area because I think we will be exploring a little bit past the village as well I really want to do that um, sun is going down but the village has bits right so we should be good um, yeah, I would love to ow. I would love to get a little bit of an area with dirt so we can plant our bushes and have some crops growing just over here in the flat area. That would be nice. Maybe we can remove some of that sand as well and get some windows in the pyramid as well. I feel like that is really going to be a nice space, at least for the time being. Uh, so I think we will stick with that. Also, I will be looking out for cows because I would like some leather. You see... In order to make armor, I have the iron, but I actually have a mod installed that makes it so that I need to upgrade the armor, which, honestly, I like the idea of. I really like the idea. It just makes it a little bit difficult, but I like it. I kind of like it. Um, so I need to make the leather variant first, and then I need to, after that, upgrade that to um, the iron variant. All right, so there's the village. And a horse. Okay. You know, I do have a saddle, actually. I do actually have a saddle. Let's quickly get over to the village and sleep. Um, I do actually have a saddle. I could get a horse, you know. I could get a horse. That is something I could get. Hmm. Well, it's not going to despawn, so uh, that is something I can think about. Now, please tell me there's a bed around here somewhere. Yes, there is. I've got to take... Okay. Uh, what do we have in here? Uh, cactus. Sweet potato. I guess I'll... Can, can those be planted? I guess those can be planted. Will this show? Nope, but it, I... Sweet potato seeds. Okay, so it can be planted. Soybean seeds. I'll take that. And we can do some farming with that. All right. It is dawn. So now we can really explore this village. And by exploring, I mean going through their chests and see what they have for us. And also what their trades are. Uh, because they are probably not that bad. Weaponsmith. You don't have a job. Or a farmer. That could be interesting. Very useful. Or could be very useful anyway. We have an iron golem here. That's good. They have protection. We have a cat. Uh... We have another farmer. What do you have to, to offer? Carrots and beetroots for animals. Hmm. What about you? Interesting. These are dyed. Leather worker. Nice. Not bad. And a weaponsmith. Ooh. Maybe that will have some armor for us. And a grindstone. You know what? I have to take that. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, take that. What do we have in here? Oh yes, iron chest plate. That's really good actually. I needed some more armor and another saddle. Gold bronze sword. Does six damage points. It's better than my stone sword. Okay, it's just a cat. I was like, what's going on here? Iron hole. Okay. You know what? Those two right there. <laughs> we got those two in this village chest. I think if the horse is good, we have to. Uh, we definitely have to tame it. We can move around a lot quicker with that. Look at that. We also have some ocean ruins. And yes, I have noticed this. We have an abandoned portal here in the middle of. Well, the village. And is this like. Is this random? That this, these pillars are right here? I don't know. Um, but that's pretty cool. So that is some obsidian right off the bat. So that could potentially be a easy way for us to get down into the nether. And look at that, a gold block, which I cannot take with a stone pickaxe. All right. Um, I feel like I should probably excavate this a little bit more, try and find the chest maybe. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back with you when I've excavated a little bit more of this thing. At least we have a bunch of netherrack here if we need it for any recipes, which I could imagine, so that's pretty nice. I have no idea where the chest is though. It could be anywhere. I've been digging for quite a while here and I cannot find the chest for this place. Um, I think I'm gonna continue till uh, nightfall, which it's only midday. <laughs> And then we'll sleep and then we can try and tame that horse. How about that? I really want to find the chest because you never know what it could have. But this place is really, really annoying. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Imagine if there's no chest here at all. I'm just like mining all this for no reason. Like, that would be mean. Okay, I think I'm gonna abandon this project for right now. <laughs> uh, just just for the time being anyway. We will come back here once the time is right. But uh, it it yeah, maybe I'll come back with a TNT from the from the temple. Uh, I now have a lot of sand. Oh, I can make sand use the sandstone for tool, stone tools. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna throw. Yeah, I'm gonna th replace all these tools here. Uh, stone tool. Iron shovel, don't need the stone sword either, and huh, I really need wood, so that is another that is another mission for today as well. All right, I think I know what is next. We gotta get that horse. I think we gotta get that horse. Um, I think that is a really really good thing for us if we can get it. Oh, look, town meeting. <laughs> okay, where is that? Oh dear. I don't think these cactuses have been very kind to him. Okay, where is the horse? Uh, oh. Um. I don't think they'll mind me taking that. Do you think so? Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, just, just, uh, just taking it for renovation. Yeah. And uh, the repair guy. Yeah, we need to uh, take it back. Uh, uh, yeah, you should be careful. Uh, yep, yeah, careful. <laughs> All right, horse. What do you got? What do you got? Uh. Okay, health. No idea how quick it is. Don't you dare. I need you alive. Come on. Getting a horse would be really nice. We could move a lot quicker. Come on. I'm gonna keep doing this till you say yes. Come on. I said come on. Finally, there we go. Horse armor, saddle, and we can give it a chest as well. Not super fast. Not super fast, but you know what? It is way better than nothing. And uh, I wouldn't mind taking that bread. And actually, I might take some of that wheat as well. But right now, I'm gonna sleep, take the wheat, and uh, we'll go get some dirt and some wood and some saplings. And yeah, and just explore a little bit. All right, so we are leaving the village. Uh, let's move over here to some of these oak trees. Oh, wait, is that a ravine? I think that might be a ravine. That might be, yep, yeah, that's a ravine. All right. Uh, 
cows. Do we have any cows nearby as well? I need... I want some books. Oh dear, that's... That's a drop. Cool cave. But a drop. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's get some oak wood. I really want some oak wood. And... Again... Cows... Would be... Oh, hey cow. Um... I'm sorry, but... Ooh, two leather. We only need to kill one. Sweet. Alright, let me cut down some of these wood. Uh, so some of these trees here. And let us then... Uh... Guess I'll grab some cobblestone as well while we're here. And then some dirt as well. Now there's just one issue with the horse at the moment. And that is, I do not have a lead. So I'm just gonna have to hope... That... The horse doesn't move too far away from where I put it at, uh, at home base. I really hope it doesn't move away because that would be a shame. Would be a waste of a saddle. <laughs> I really don't want it to move away. Alright, one thing I'm gonna do here is to make a chest and put it on the back of the horse because I need a free inventory here. Can we just... Wait. Oh, it's only with donkeys you can do this with, right? Uh, dang it. Okay, um, well that was a waste, um, my inventory is very, very crowded right now. Anyway, I think I have enough wood, let's just take this one. I have already five saplings on me from the village, so that is great. So I think we're done with that, we have the leather. Uh, getting the dirt is going to be a pain because I have all the sand, so I think we might head back uh, to home base after exploring just a little bit. And then we will go get the dirt. How about that? Because, um, yeah, my inventory is a little bit cluttered. I would love to find a dragon skeleton, though, and get some dragon bones. That would be pretty epic. Uh, so far, this area is pretty safe. No dragons have spawned their nests or anything like that. So, yeah, so far this place has been pretty safe. Probably until, well, I found find one, then I'm gonna realize that there is one right next door, and things are not gonna be safe anymore. But we'll take it when, when we get to it, right? Maybe that won't ever happen. Another big ravine. Hmm. And I have all the beef, well, not the beef, the, the leather that I need and such. This, are we on an island? There's a lot of botania flowers as well around here, so once we need that... Uh, when we need that, that's going to be pretty easy to get our hands on. Uh, I think we might be on an island, you know. That could be pretty cool. Well, kinda on an island anyway. Alright, I'll head back, uh, clean up my inventory, and we'll go back out to get some dirt so we can get some stuff planted. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll meet you back home. Just spotted some coal on the way back. Oh, and iron. Okay, I'll definitely take this because I am actually lacking coal right now. So I'll grab this and I'll meet you back home, finally. Would you look at that? We have some kind of forest nearby as well. I don't know how far away this is. Ow, ow, ow. Horse move. <laughs> don't just stand there. Wait a second, this is not... Oh, I went too far. We have another desert temple here. Okay, um, wait, where am I then? <laughs> where am I? Uh, just gonna note these uh, coordinates here because... Huh. I guess, I guess we get some... Yeah, exploring... Yeah, that stupid cactus. Well, I want to get back home ASAP because uh, it's getting dark and my inventory is full. I don't really fancy dying right now. So where on earth is home? If that is there, then where is my... Where's mine? Where's my pyramid? There it is. At least I think it's mine. Yep, torches. Okay, so that other one is right behind us. Alright then. Um, There were dirt over there as well. Plus some interesting trees. Yeah, those guys? Those were the ones that dropped the gold nugget. I don't know what they are. They, they, they're mean. They're not friendly. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, get... Oh, there's one right next to... Next to next to home. Okay, maybe we can sneak indoors here and sleep 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 the nightmares away. All right, 
Let me, yeah, organize my inventory and I'll be right back. All right, I have returned. So I've organized my inventory here and I'm going to now be making two guides here. So this is the engineer's manual from immersive engineering. And this is Lexica Potania. I just wanted to make those two. That's why I wanted the leather. Um, so now we have those and I can throw them in here for whenever we need them. They're really, really cool. They uh, give a bunch of uh, interesting and useful information. So that is really, really awesome. In game wiki, love it. All right, so let us equip the shovels, equip the horse. Let us take a look at that uh, pyramid back here. That is not ours. And the copy. Oh, oh dear. Hold on. Let's uh, let's try to take this guy out. He's fast as well. And I've not tried getting hit by one, and I don't fancy trying because he has an enchanted iron sword. But there you can see he drops a gold nugget. Um, and and yeah, he's mean. All right, so let us head back over there to the other pyramid, get the dirt, and I feel like I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll meet you over there. All right, here it is. I will also try and get some of those uh, saplings over there as well. But here we are, the second desert temple. Just make sure that it's clear. Looks clear. I'm not interested in staying in this one, so I'm not gonna light everything up and such. So let's head down here to the bottom and place that there. Remove that so it doesn't blow up. Let's get some light in here and let's see. Whoa. Okay. A lot of stuff as usual. Manuscripts, I need to make those as well. I need to make the Ice of Fire um, bestiary thingy. That would be nice. Silver? In uh, inconspicuous bean can <laughs> uh, spider drop gunpowder and a bunch of runes some in the comment section in the f episode one said that these comes from quark um, which is installed as well so that's cool and I'll take the chest you know what why why would I not check the take the chest let's see brass shovel more runes hmm interesting zombie heart what is that even used for Okay, then a bunch of weird interesting stuff Let's take all of that and wait did I see a helmet? I saw a helmet. I Saw a helmet this I believe this uh, Thurium armor uh, I'm pretty sure if we look at the helmet four and one three and two six and one six and two so this is very equal to diamond armor. That's very cool. I will not say no to that at all. I'm going to take as much of this as I can carry because I will want it all. Um, though I do see one issue here and that <laughs> that's uh, inventory space. Now that I also need the dirt. Um, yeah, I would also like to get my hands on the TNT because that you never know when that's going to be ill here. That, that stuff that was creepy. You never know when that is going to be useful. I feel like we have plenty of that. So let's get the TNT and uh, huh, getting the dirt might be a bit of an issue because this is a very much loaded inventory. And I'm kind of running out of time here. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, don't wander off. I think, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it an episode here. And we'll pick right up from here. I'm going to go back to base, empty my inventory, and I'll meet you here at this forest. And we'll collect the dirt and we'll continue from there in episode three. But with that said, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, be sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm trying to reach 3000 subscribers before the end of the year. Can we do it? It's up to you guys. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It supports me a ton. And if you want to support me further, a link to my Patreon page is down below in the description. Uh, also, if you want to get access to the Ice and Fire uh, Season 2 mod pack, that is how you do it. Become a patron as much as it it's nothing big. It's literally $1 a month. Well, for some people, it's big, of course. You know what I mean. If you want access to it, my Patreon is down below in the description. But anyways, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. 
and goodbye. I shall head back to base and I'll meet you back here in the next episode. Don't allow now, where do I see? Zapu, a fluid, me, my adjustable thing.